Purdy? Is that where you start at? This is shuttle launch control. Recapping, we have scrubbed once again today due to out of limit wind conditions both at the launch pad and at the shuttle landing facility. We will be trying a launch attempt again tomorrow. Our launch time on Wednesday is 3.27 p.m. Eastern Time. The launch window duration will be five minutes. We expect weather conditions to be significantly improved tomorrow, particularly for a return to left side as the winds come more around to a runway heading alignment from the northwest. Our tail sites are marginal tomorrow, but we are expected to have at least one good site at the time of launch. All right, copy. And in the meantime, we will begin cleaning the external tank in preparation for okay. the third attempt. The astronauts should be getting off Space Shuttle Atlantis within the next 45 minutes. And we didn't work any technical issues during the countdown today. until the astronauts are off Atlantis. NASA TV coverage of tomorrow's launch attempt at Space Shuttle Atlantis will begin at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. OTC. Go ahead, OTC. Perform Ohm's RCS reconfiguration for your checklist.
ATCISO. Go ahead, ISO. You ready for step 127? That's correct. Copy. And CDR. This is Shuttle Launch Control. The Space Flight Meteorology Group in Houston has just been briefing the launch director on the overseas weather conditions for tomorrow. And uh, they're certainly not as good as they uh, were today. They're much more marginal, particularly in Spain. Uh, and uh, Bengaluru will be a little iffy, however. The feeling is that uh, at least one of those uh, three sites will be scattered by lunchtime tomorrow, most probably Bengaluru. And at KSC, uh, the forecast uh, very much improved. Winds pretty much right down the runway, uh, northwesterly. 30 degrees, 12 to 18 knots, and scattered clouds. So uh, we'll be looking at all of this again tomorrow morning. There will be a mission, a meeting of the mission management team at uh, 5:30, and uh, we'll take a look at how we've done on the scrub turnaround and what the uh, weather conditions are uh, forecast to be, both uh, KSC and overseas. And then tentatively, we will plan to press ahead with loading the external tank at about 6 a.m. So at this time, we feel like uh, there's a very good chance that we'll overcome the wind obstacle tomorrow, mainly by uh, a shift in the wind direction, but also uh, the speed uh, dying off uh, somewhat as well, and the winds will be uh, diminished uh, out of the launch pad. And asked in OVCC, the flight crew has to go to egress, and sorry about the weather today. Probably that OTC, uh, no problem at all. We'll go when the weather's ready to launch. And tomorrow in the SRB recovery area, seas four to six feet, northwesterly winds 15 to 20. Mission uh, Specialist Susan Helms is now off uh, Atlantis. We got ISL, uh, he changed it to uh, panel control at this time, and we're going to go ahead and reconfigure switches in there. Okay, what step is that? We're on step uh, 124. Jim Voss uh, immediately behind, and we see Yuri Usachov. OTC TLS, uh, we need you to check with ISL. We did not perform our safing to. Um... So uh, the mid deck is free, and we should see the astronauts from the flight deck begin to leave. Okay. OTC ISL, we're ready. You're ready then. Okay. As soon as the ASP uh, gets the crew out, we'll go ahead and continue with the uh, crew module spacing. The PVD OT thing. PVD 212. Yeah, look at step 130 there. We need to do that still then. Jeff Williams now off the order, having left the flight deck. Thank you, guys, Yeah, we can go ahead and get the uh, C3 switch done as soon as possible. I appreciate it. Okay, and ask both these things. Go ahead. Okay, we were in the middle of a change in our OIPCMU on panel C3. And as soon as possible, we'd like to go ahead and just uh, change our configuration here and be a little better for us. Okay, we're ready whenever you're ready. Okay. Panel C3. And once again, our launch time tomorrow on Wednesday will be 3.27. Okay, and LIP, Punkaboo switch, power one coming off. And the format. The philosophy I'm trying today was that uh, if the low pressure system to our north gradually were to move to a more east and northeast direction, and that the Wind direction would come more around to a northwesterly position and allow the RTLS crosswind constraint to uh, to clear. However, uh, that did not happen, and also the winds were too high out of the launch pad. But uh, in any event, if uh, 
you make a run at it, there's always a chance that that will happen and you can launch. If uh, you don't make a run at it, run at it you're, you're definitely not launching no matter what happens. Specialist Mary Ellen Weber, who was sitting in the flight deck in the right seat. OTC, OVTC. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to swing over to 153 and do prep for the water drain at this time. That's a fun, sir. You got to go. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. When you're uh, configured and ready, we've got uh, more switches we need to throw to secure up there. And we're standing by to support you, sir. Okay, we're uh, still egress to the crew. I'll give you a call back. Stop it.
Seattle. Good, Yeah, I'm requesting to go to turn the uh, pilot in CBR so I can turn pilot off. Yes, sir, you have a go. Okay, just tell me have a go. Our pilot now, Scott Horowitz, has left the cockpit. Finally, our commander, Jim Hossel, is off the space shuttle. We'll have a very early wake-up tomorrow, about 3 a.m. Once again, uh, wearing of 
propellants aboard the external tank is planned to begin at 6 a.m. tomorrow. And finally, our launch commentary will begin at 9 a.m. Eastern Time.